You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Those of you that love vintage toys and games, this is the Fudini the Magic Unscrambler featuring mysterious activity books, mystifying, spellbinding, puzzling, exciting, and fun. Only Fudini the Genie can reveal the silly subjects lurking within his books. Assorted fun to do activities, actual size of Genie, five and three quarters inches. So the size on the box is definitely not the size of the Fudini. So what is a Fudini? Well, let's see. Let's learn more about it here. Let's see. The kit includes three mysterious activity books, action coloring book, dot to dot book, multi-activity book, Fudini the Genie, and one set of colored pencils. This is from Skyline Incorporated from 1977. So if you're a collector and like vintage toys or just want to learn more about this toy, here we go. We're going to learn about it. Let's check out the back of the box. Let's see. It says, this kit contains three... Oh, that tells you everything we just read. Would you believe... This crazy mixed up mystery maze can be transformed into a real vision. Fudini the Genie not only unscrambles and reveals, but adds action and changing expressions to his pages of mystery. Birds fly, dancers dance, faces smile and frown. Who is it? What is it? Only Fudini knows. Hours of fascinating fun. Now look at all those kids. It kind of reminds me of like the Brady Bunch squares. Uh, the packaging is really dark. Let me see if I can bring in a light here and brighten up the box so you can kind of see what's going on there. That's all the kids are all looking in the middle for some reason. I guess they're looking at Fudini. All right, there you go. I am now uh, ready to take this out of the box. So let me come back here one more time on the cover with a little more light. Fudini, the magic unscrambler. Okay, here we go. This was just temporarily taped 1977 what were kids playing with in 1977 we got the Fudini the magic unscrambler multi-activity book and then Fudini the magic unscrambler action coloring book and the dot to dot book all right let's see the colored pencils and then last but not least, this is it. The Great Fudini. How exciting is that? I mean, looking at the box and then seeing that, you're kind of probably slightly disappointed, weren't you? Would you be if you were a kid? That's the Great Fudini. And then that is what it actually looks like. All right, so let me do this. Let me get the camera at the right angle because it has to be at the right angle to see everything in the book. And then we will check out uh, probably the dot to dot first. Okay, so this is the dot to dot book. Follow the dots. Fudini shows all. Answer the riddles. Have a ball. Okay, so let's see. Follow the dots. Complete your picture. Place Fudini on the scrambled picture where indicated so picture reflects on his shiny surface. Look into the shiny surface on Fudini and wow, your scrambled picture is revealed. Answer the riddle. Answers on page number 32. Color the silly zany characters and they become even more realistic. Experiment. Try action suggestions from the action coloring book. You'll giggle, you'll giggle, you will giggle as the pictures wiggle and dance, jump and fall. Share the fun of your magic unscrambler pictures with a friend. Ooh, very cool, important. Be sure to white mirror surface of Fudini before using. All right, well, I have a perfectly clear Fudini mirror. Ooh, clear and mirror. All right, so Hop and Harry. Pick up this present, picked up this present when I went shopping. I didn't go walking, but I went, hmm, I'm guessing shopping. It probably rhymes with shopping. All right, so what you're supposed to do is take this and then put this here. Now the camera needs to be at just the right angle so you can visualize the picture now and see what it is. Can you see it? Let me see, let me zoom in. I'll have to do a bunch of editing on this one just to kind of give you an understanding, a close-up. All right, so what you see is a bunny reading. It looks like a book after you... You don't even need to complete the dot-to-dots to, to see the picture, 
but it looks like a bunny. He's got a little crown on his head. Can you see that in the picture? All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let me uh, move Fudini out of the way. Let's take another look. Now, I am going to do one of these dot to dots because I decided to scan a page out of this book. Let's see, I don't know what page I scanned. Not this page. All right, when I get to deep sea fishing. All right, funny flyer. It says, hi there, friend. It's quite absurd that a fellow like me needs a whirly. Hmm, what is the riddle? A whirly, it's gonna be lots of up and down. Well, actually that might not be too bad right there. If I just kind of leave it at this angle, I could read them and show you the pictures. So it's a whirly bird. It's a bird and a helicopter. Uh, I'm hoping you're able to see that. Let's move the great Fudini. Hoot and holler. When I go out on my nighttime prowl, I'll be a very... S wait. I'll be very well read. Wait. When I go out on my nighttime prowl, I'll be a very well read... Hmm. My guess... And you can look at this picture and think, hmm, what is that? Well, let us see the great Fudini. What does the great Fudini have to say? The great Fudini says, I am an owl reading a book. Let me just get the angle just right. I want to try to keep the camera in one spot and make sure I get this set so I don't have to keep moving it for you. I'm trying to avoid that. So that is an owl reading a book. Hmm. Deep sea fishing. Now, this is the one I got. This says, This poor little fish was starting to drown till he was rescued by Mr... Hmm. Let's see. Let's move the book off to the side. Let's bring this in here. And let me connect the dots. Let me get my pencils from the set. Now, I put them in this bag. They don't normally come in a bag like this that I know. I don't know how it was originally packed. That's how I always like to try to find stuff that's as original as possible. All right, so one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five. I just broke a tip. Let's switch colors. All right, I'll tell you what, let me grab a regular pencil so I can keep these intact as possible. Four to five. Five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, nine to ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Scooch over to sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Now that wasn't much to do there, was it? Let's see. What has the picture revealed? The great Fudini. Hmm. Deep sea fishing. What do you think it is? It looks like. It's a clown fishing in some kind of tank or like a big bowl or a big catch basin or something. Okay? All right, so I'm going to do that for each book. I'll show you one, but I want to kind of show you all the pages. Enjoy our time together. Here we go. Hey, good buddy. If you get a left jab, don't cry, boo-hoo. You're trying to box with a... Boo-hoo... I know exactly what it is. It is a kangaroo with boxing gloves. I'm still not sure. I hope this works, because otherwise in editing, I'm going to have a lot of time trying to show this. All right. I mean, I've spent a lot of time showing it, and I don't want to get to editing and find out it's not going to work. Captain Courageous, come aboard, matey, and start to bail. I'm the skipper, but I can't. Okay, I can't. What can't he do? Page 32. I can't. Uh, it, it looks like, I don't know, that one's impossible to see. It looks like some kind of, there's a fish there. The fish is right here. There's some kind of, like, sail. Uh, and there's something there. Hmm. All right, well. We'll come back to that one. What's that was number seven. I want the riddle answer to number seven. Let me write that one down for sure. Okay. Tooth power, this is called. Under the water, I make the laws. Among the friends, I'm known as... Huh, these are getting harder. What are you known as? 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a really mixed up picture. It's like, it's like a, some kind of like jellyfish and... All right, don't know that one either. Number seven, number eight are a bust for me anyway. Maybe you know it. Okay, bug-eyed. Let's see. I'm sitting here swatting the flies in my bog. If you need a fly catcher, buy a pet. That one's easy. That should be a nice looking happy frog. Yes, it is. A hole in one. Give me to your teacher so I might learn. Who ever heard of a stupid? Hmm. Now maybe drawing them in will help. I guess that could be the real problem. You have to you have to draw some of these in to understand them. But there's something popping out of the ground here. So I won't know the riddle unless I actually did these. Slowpoke. I build my house without a nail, but it took a long time as I'm a... Uh... What are you? I can't tell. It's off to the side here. Snail. Okay, so that's a snail. Mickey Mallet. Don't worry. Partner, just hang loose. Your fate's in the hands of a silly... Hmm, how about a goose? Yes, I see the goose head right there. Nuts to you. For every boy, there is a there is a girl. For every nut, there is a... Hmm, let's say squirrel. Yes, I see the squirrel. Yeah, these won't work as good because I'm not drawing them all in. So, formally speaking, at the North Pole, we all dress like twins in top hat and tails where we are perky. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of see like an igloo there. We are perky. Oh, penguins. Okay, it's a penguin. Mad Hatter. The trick was a flop. Isn't that tragic? Without a word, there is no... Hmm. There is no, it looks like a rabbit in a top hat, but not, I don't know. I'll give you all the answers in a bit. Twinkle Toes. I play in the mud and love to get grubby. I think I'm quite slim, but my friends call me, what do they call them? What is that? It looks like an, a giraffe or with bad teeth. I don't know. Crack it up. Hey there, folks. Don't mean to beg, but don't make me a scrambled... Hmm. That's some kind of bird or something. I don't know. I'd have to draw that one. Some you can see, some you can't. But you could see the bird's beak the way these are. The bird's beak here. Bird's feet there. Spouting off. If you ever heard of a fisherman's tail, you know a minnow can become a, huh, a minnow can become a, okay, one I can't tell. Proud mama. I could hardly believe my eyes when one of my kids won first. Mm, yes, it's a prize. It's a medal, which you can kind of see here with the number one in it. And then some kind of bird-like creature there. Gorgeous George. I'm the lovable Ichabod Crane of the zoo. My home is Australia, and I'm a N. I'm an ostrich. Bug off. I'm considered a bother and a pesky fella. But don't stop. Don't step on me. You'll squash my... Oh, it's a bug. It's like a centipede or a caterpillar. Trickster. A seal in the circus is most clever of all as he flips and bounces his big rubber. His big rubber. Uh, it's doesn't. It looks like a ball. Yes, it's a ball. And he's on one of those stands. You know those circus seals. Pierre. In Z cooking contest, I'll be Z ref. Don't call me a cook. I'm Z chef. So what you're creating is a chef's hat. 
beach bum. The son of the sand and a big giant sippo. Oh, this is life. This is the life, says the lazy. Hmm. Yes, lazy hippo. Act one. The trainer said firmly, I'll make a porpoise soup. If you purposely fail to jump through the... What do you think it is? What do you think it is? It is a hoop. We're almost there. Hitchhiker. I never go walking because I'm a grouch. When my mother goes hopping, I ride in her... Well, that one's probably easy. I'm going to say that is a pouch. Yes, it's a kangaroo. Dapper Dan. I've got a cute gal, and I'm her beau. She's a red robin, and I'm a black... Crow, I think that is. Yes, it's a bird. Oh, let me get my hand out of there. Okay. We're almost at the end of this book. Skydiving. Up on an airplane, I got the boot. I learned real fast to open my... Yes, it is a bear and a parachute. So this finishes the parachute. High flyer. To me, my friends are quite insane. They flap their wings while I fly a... Insane? Maybe a crane? I don't know. Oh, a plane! So it is a bird and a plane. That's what it looks like. There's a bird down here, by the way. Busy as a bee. A bee such as me must have a mystical powers. When he's asked both to paint and to pollinate... Ooh, I bet you it's a bee by flowers. It sure is. Okay, simple. Lawman. I'm a gunslinging owl who's out on the prowl, gonna bring in that dirty rat. I'm famous for my great big owl. It's an owl with a badge on. That's the badge right there, by the way. Oh, there's all the answers. Crazy legs. While standing on one leg, I don't even sink. I wade in the water. My color is pink. It's probably a stork. It is. All right, so the answer to number seven was sail, and the answer to number eight was jaws. Let's see, eight. Seven and eight. Eight, tooth power. Under the water, I make the laws. Among the friends, I'm known as jaws. So that makes sense now. I wasn't even thinking, but that one's got a lot of drawing on it's yet to be completed okay that's my excuse for not knowing that one. all right let me come back now grab a scan of one of these we will do the multi-activity book i'm going to save the action coloring book i think one of these you kind of move and let's see you move it around all right i'll be right back all right here we go this one is the multi-activity book match wits with fudini fudini reveals you and fudini find the hidden answers so here we place the scramble picture where indicated. So picture reflects on the shiny surface. Look into the shiny surface on Fudini, and wow, your scramble picture is revealed. Read the verses carefully. They tell you what to do. Color the silly zany characters, and they become even more realistic. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, boy. Help. Finish the lines. If you please, believe it or not, I'm sitting in cheese, or sitting in cheese, and it looks like a little mouse. I can see it already, but I don't want to spoil it. Too late. I spoiled it. So it is. It's a mouse sitting in cheese. Now, would this be better, like, right there? We'll see. Let's see. Roaring Mad. In my homeland, I set the rule. Everyone knows when I lose my cool. Now, this one, look at all the different little triangles. And then there's the colors they want you to do. So this one would take some time, but what is it? Colored or not, can I tell what it is? I have no idea. Everyone knows when I lose my cool. Is it a volcano? Maybe it's a volcano. And when it's all colored, well, let's see, red is one. So that would be, where is one? Well, there's twos, fours. It's so tiny, so tiny. Double trouble. I'm a crazy mixed up snowman. The artist drew me wrong. Can you find the eight mistakes? It shouldn't take you long. Now this, you're not coloring. You're just trying to figure this out. Let's see if I can get real close here. Eight mistakes. Really? 
how are you gonna find the mistakes? Well, looking at the picture, he's got two different eyes. His buttons are misaligned. And he's got stuff in his hand. He's got a like a mitt on wrong. I don't know. He's on one ski. He's on skis. Yeah, his glove is backwards. Uh, I don't know. You would have to really sit and analyze that with Fudini. Mouth and off. My vocabulary has little merit, but that's all right, because I'm a parrot. You subtract the numbers right and color me. I'm bold and bright. So you do the math and then pick the color. So minus three, we know what that is. That's that color. Okay. Did I get it wrong? I don't know. I didn't answer it. So it is a toucan type bird. Yeah, very cool. Free time. If a picnic seems to be your bag, find the hidden objects before you brag. So you got to find a sandwich, two sodas, ice cream cone, an apple, and a fish. Can you do all that? Really? You really need to look inside there. It's hard to see. And you almost have to be right up on it. Fun with words. Unscramble the words. That's the game. Popping Tony is my name. So the words are H-C-T-M-H-P-N-L-R-A-I-A-T-L-O-P-C-N-O-R-P. And then down is G-I-R-E-T-A-T-H-A-N-P-S-O-T-E-W-A-P. Get all those? So you're scrambling, doing the puzzle, and you see uh, some kind of cat in a apron or a lion or something, doing something, something, something. Teacher's pet. The teacher's pet knows the golden rule. Bring a red apple with you to school. Find the nine hidden apples. Oh boy, they sure don't make this easy. Nine hidden apples. Okay, yeah, so there's one sitting under the bird here. Then there is an apple here. And then the rest you're just going to have to find. I don't know. High hopes. I'm a prince of a fellow under a spell from my royal throne. I fell. I'll be a frog the rest of my days if you don't help me through this maze. So now you just do the maze. And then it, I guess the Fudini goes here. It doesn't really say on this one. It's one of the few ones. But yeah, I see a bride in there. Party anyone? It's my birthday and I'm a mouse. My candle is as big as my house. Just follow the numbers if you please. This cake is nice, but I wish it were cheese. So you color it in. And let's see. It says happy birthday. That I could see. All right, just so you could see, get a better angle on this. This is this is totally scrambled. I know down here it's not, but I don't want to be changing the camera much. So that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. But Let's see, no Karak. Unscramble this title, which says what I am. I'm known for far and wide as good old Sam. I am a, hmm, what is that? A raccoon. He's got the little raccoon mask. I spy. Look with me and you will see there are eight different objects that start with P. Oh, this one might be fun. Let's start with P. Okay, so what is he doing? He's playing the piano. Uh, I can't tell. It looks like he has a pipe in his mouth. The rest, I don't know. There's a little bug on the floor. Or a penny. Yeah, there's a penny on the floor. All right. Sitting Bear. Let's help Sitting Bear get his wish. Please locate his missing fish. Find 25 missing fish. Oh, my goosh. Look at that. You're going to find all 25. Oh, one, two, three, four. There's a whole bunch around his whole top. How high? Up, up in the air we go. Just how high the straight lines show. They measure 100 miles each. Good grief. We're as high as one can reach. The balloon went blank miles up. Action hint. Move Fudini in direction of arrow. So you start here and you go. Like that. What does it say? I don't know. 
But that's what you do. See Houdini move? The thing? The picture? Additional fun. The numbers add up to give you a clue on whatever to use, red, yellow, or blue. Okay, so you got to add the numbers to get what you need to draw the picture. And it looks like a pig in a car. And that's exactly what it is. And the sign says oink. So the oink is right here. See? O-I-N-K. Okay, so these, let's see, you do character. Draw hair, hat, or mustache, add eyebrows, teeth, or even eyelashes. A kooky character, it's true, but after all, it was drawn by you. Use tracing paper and trace as many faces, basic as you want. Have fun. So they want you to trace over it, not necessarily in the book, I guess. Or you trace it and then draw it. Okay, so there's the face. So looking at the face, let me do it this way. I have one here that I printed out. Looking at the face. Now... Here's his lip, so if I draw some kind of, like, fancy mustache, a little thicker, that's his nose, so it's under his nose, I got that right, and then let's give him some eyebrows, it's working, it's working! Okay, get it? And then let's just put something on his face. A little thing, some dimples, whatever you would call them. I don't know, but you'll get it. Like that, so there, you would draw it and then it would show up on Fudini, the great Fudini. So there's two of those. Go team, go, the bases are loaded. We'll win at this rate, but we'll need your help to cross home plate. So place Fudini here. So this one gets totally turned, oh, no, this way, like this. All right, so you do the maze, and then inside is some kind of creature with duck-like feet. R.I.P. Snorton. I'm Snorton in Hoth and, and ready to play when I see red, and you shout, Ole. What is that? It's got to be some kind of... Oh boy, those are going to be really tough. It would take you a while to do those. Friendly. I'm a long-legged, lanky giraffe who likes to make people laugh. How many words can you find in my name? If you find 18, we've thought of the same. Oh, so raf is, oh, far, F-A-R. So there's that many. Oh boy, good luck, everybody. Do that. That's your homeschooling project for the day. Solve that riddle. Love bug. Although I'm adorable, precious and neat, the truth of the matter is I'm not complete. So finish my lines and I'll give you a hug. Have you ever been kissed by a ladybug? Complete the line. So which line? And maybe out here? It's really difficult to know. So maybe, yep, it's a bug in the middle. It's a bug in the rug. Rabbit habit. When I took this job, I thought it was tops. Till my tummy ached from eating the crops. Find the 20 hidden carrots. Oh, boy. It's uh, something in a car or a vehicle. Maybe a cat. Tricky but fun. You walk on me all day long. Draw what you see. You can't go wrong. The outside squares contain the line to be drawn in the mystery square. Match like numbers. Number seven has already been done for you. Match like numbers. Oh, I see. So number seven has been done. So if you take number two and draw something there, I guess. I don't know. We'll find out at the end. Not sure where Fudini fits in this, but uh, very strange. Here, I'll give you a good look at that. You solve that one. Okay, touchdown. My team's number one. I'm Bigfoot. The rabbit running for touchdown is my habit. Help me crawl, help me to score and help me run. It's really a maze, but isn't it fun? Yes, it's a running rabbit. All right, so let's uh, go to the next one here. This says, Mr. Wizard. The wizard is known for feats of magic. Follow the numbers or your fate will be tragic. Okay, place Fudini there. It is a like a wizard-like bird. Boy, lots of birds. 
There's so many animals. Everything rhymes with bird, I guess. Eager beaver. Oh, well, there's the beaver. The banjo I'm a strumming. I'm not just a bumming. Look at me and you will find the missing letters I have in mind. So there's all the different crosswords and then you have to find the missing letters. So yes, it's a beaver strumming a banjo and a hat. Okay. Dinner time. I smell something in the air. Look and find it if you care. What is it? Action hint. Put fingers under nose and flick the page. What? Put fingers under nose and flick the page. Fingers under nose. Here's his nose. I don't know. Oh. Oh yeah, I see it. I don't know what it's doing. There's his nose, the tip of his nose, and flick the page. All right, well, you really got to get into this, I guess. Whoa, sharpshooter, look at me, I can rhyme, believe it or not. I'm a porcupine. I come after eight, I am in, okay, so you have to do all those different little sentences there. I'm probably boring all of you, but the only way to show the history of this particular toy is to do everything on the pages. Dragster, got to get through the maze to finish the race. Help me souped up car. Help my souped up car take first place. Actually, not finish all the pages. Show you all the pages. I probably will not do this editing. I'll do some of them close up. Another one of these. Draw on the lines. I'm around the house. I'll give you a hint. I'm not a mouse. Directions. The outside squares contain the lines to be drawn in the mystery squares. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking. So that repeats there. That repeats there. Then you take seven and put it there, eight, put it there. So now you have a circle here. All right. I don't know how Fudini sits in that one, but who goes there? I love to sightsee, wander and roam, but I travel slow with a mobile home. Color all the things in and you get, well, you won't know till you color it in. Here's the answers to what I need answers for. Okay. There's all the answers. Let me move on to the next book. So this is a coloring book. It's the action coloring book. You color it. Fudini reveals you and Fudini at action. Okay. Winner or loser? Winning always makes me glad. Losing always makes me sad. Action hint. Move Fudini a direction indicated. So you hold Fudini here and then you pull it back. So it looks like he's happy. Then he's just regular on his face. You can kind of see it from your angle. Let me just see if little in, little more, if this helps. Okay. Grinning gator. With a flip of my tail, I can make the ball sail. Action it. Slip hand under page, flick finger under ball. What? There he is, and here's the ball. Oh, I see. So now it's moving by him on his tail. Okay. That's cool. Cat's meow. A cool cat pilot sails the sky, makes the paper plane fly high. Action. Move Fudini in direction indicated. Start here. Okay. He's starting to peel up. Trampoline Terry. Silly Terry is my name. Help me bounce my way to fame. Slip hand in her page. Flick finger under the letter T. Okay, where's the T? Letter T. Where is the T? It's right here on his head. I don't know. Are you guys seeing that? Tennis anyone? Flick my racket. Here comes the ball. Here comes the ball. The score is even. 40 all. Slip hand in their page. Flick finger under the racket. Okay, so he's there. Here's the racket. So you're kind of... Get it? Gordon Goldfish. My eyes will dance and make you giggle. Get me a new bowl so I can wiggle. Action. Slip hand in their page. Flick finger under the eyes. Okay, so I was thinking it'd be more... There's his eyes. It's kind of not the right... Angle right there. See his eyes right here? Does it work? You tell me. Funny bunny. Whoopsie. Oops. Here I goes. Splat flat on my nose. Move Fundini in the direction indicated. Here we go. So he starts there and he goes this way. So basically, 
He's rolling. It's the bunny flipping over. He starts there and he's running and flips whoo, all the way over. Okay. Wiggling Willie. Hi there. Good buddy. Watch me crawl. Stretch me out. I'm six feet tall. Hint. Move Houdini in the direction. Here we go. So what's happening here? Oh, it's a snake. Yes. Doesn't necessarily stretch, he just wiggles. See, wiggling Willie. Jumping Jenny. Jumping up and down, down's no joke. Jumping up and down's no joke. 1001, I'll think I'll croak. Move the direction indicated so you're going this way. It's a frog. And he is jumping. Doo -doo. Boing, boing, boing. Get it? Burr bear. Water is fine and ice cream is yummy, but riding these waves make my, makes me sick to my tummy. Move Fudini in direction indicated. Okay. Goofy Gorilla. Hi there, folks. I'm the most. I can see coast to coast. Action. It's slip hand under page. Flick finger under hand. Okay, so the hand is here. It looks like... Some kind of big gorilla. He's like waving. I'm a swinger. Rockabye elephant in the treetop. If the rope breaks, I'll make a big flop. Go this way. Okay. Hilda Hippo. Hilda the Hippo will sit on the chair. If she's not careful, the chair won't be there. Move Fudini in the direction. Thank you, Fudini. Thank you for your knowledge. Yep. There she is. She's sitting. Not sitting. Not sitting. Sitting. Something's happening. Buck and Bronco. Howdy there, partner. Put me to the test. On this Buck and Bronco, I'm the best in the West. This way and this way. It's on a little rocking horse. Tricky but fun. Look at my balance, see how I ride. Whoopsie, I fell and hurt more than my pride. So he's on a bike and he looks like he's just rocking back and forth because that's the way it works. Pete the Pirate. Sometimes I'm nice and sometimes I'm mean. If you don't behave, you'll land on your bean. Okay. Ooh, look at his face. Not a nice looking face. Looks mean. Bowling bear. I've got great form for a bowling bear. Going to get me a strike or at least a spare. Okay. Perky penguin. Although I'm a penguin and formally dressed, I shiver and quiver with all the rest. Place here. Slip hand or page, flick finger under head and arms. Okay, head. Here's his head. I guess I get that. I mean, makes sense. Jolly Jester. You think I look silly with the bells on my toes? I'm the Jolly Court Jester, as everyone knows. Slip hand under page, flick finger under rattle. Okay, so here's the rattle. I see what they're doing. I mean, I guess it would be fun back in the day when you, if you had this as a kid. He probably did every single page. But why did this person not do any of the pages? Hmm, they left it intact. Sporting grandma. Some grandmas knit, some cook and some sew. But I'm champion skateboarder in our town, you know. So grandma's going to ride the skateboard. Oh, there she is. It's not like she's moving. She's just kind of rocking. You see that? But that's still interesting. Hoppiness is, bunnies are famous for hopping about, but one more hop and I'm all hopped out. Yep, so he's up and down, up and down. Boing! Boing! Scared skater. I knew it was going to be one of those days when my legs started going in four different ways. So nothing to do there. It's just a straight one. 
Slip your hand under this page, flick finger under head and body. Here's his head. Bernie Bird. I'm flapping to Florida for a winter vacation in bird talk that's called Southern Migration. Imagine that people that put this book together had to sit there and think, oh, we got to fill three books. Three books. Ideas. We need ideas. And people would just, okay, okay, I have an idea. How about Bernie Bird? Bird bath. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub. I'm an old-fashioned tub. This old dirty bird needs a very good scrub. Hint, okay, page, flick finger, the brush. The brush is over here. Yeah, not getting much action there. Pedal power. Come on, friend, join me. We'll go for a ride. It's too nice a day to play inside. Action at Mufudini, direction indicated. So you start here, and you go like this. Surfing Sam. A turtle is famous for being so slow. So oh, slow. But give me a wave and watch me go. Move Fudini in the direction indicated. Start here. Shh. Okay, we're almost at the end of the book. Give me some ideas. I need, oh, how about Funny Freddy? Okay, let's put that in the book. I'm happy and sad. A funny old elf. A smile and a frown. In spite of myself. Move Fudini in the direction indicated. Yes, he's opening. It just looks like his face just distorts. Wishing and fishing. A rhino went a fishing in a little tiny boat was all that he could do to keep himself afloat. Start here and go this way. Shh. You're mesmerizing. Clowning around. Hey, boys and girls, I'm clowning around, so make me smile and make me frown. Move Houdini in the direction indicated. There we go. Frown? No, that's smile. That's frown. Smile. Frown. Smile. Frown. Frown. Smile. Smile. Frown. Frown. Smile. Balancing bed. A circus elephant I'm not. Which foot to use? Oh, I forgot. Move Houdini in the direction indicated. You betcha, Houdini. Oh boy, I hope I haven't bored you. Monkeying around. So they got a full page on the back. No answers. A flick of your fingers, you set the beat. I'll play the drums with my hands and my feet. Slip hand under page, flick finger under hand. Oh, a drummer. Yes, it does look like a drummer. And the drummer is a monkey. Okay. Flicking. He's drumming. Cool. All right, I'll tell you what. I, have the, I scanned one picture out of here. I just want to do a little color and see what that looks like. There you go. I mean, you notice the intro. I went back to the old intro and outro. Actually, I just made it much simpler. What do you think about that? No particular reason. I just thought, well, you know what? It's time. Go back to where we started. That's what I'm going to do. I'll be changing all of the graphics and all of the Lucky Penny Shop stuff to something uh, well, actually more collector and that kind of stuff related. And uh, I will be uh, selling a lot more toys, I think, this year. Coming into 2021. I haven't decided yet. Well, I wanted to take this time and color for you and then tell you about that. So did you notice the change i'm sure you did the old penny on the sidewalk i know exactly where that sidewalk and that picture was taken okay let me color this yellow and see that's an actual spot okay looks like i like a hat and ears, this looks like a face and a nose. Here's some ears, we'll do those in green. Ears in green. Well, we'll do his whole face in green, I guess. He's green with envy. And then I'll overdo, once I look in Fudini, I can say, well, where's his mouth? Now you can probably do this while looking in Fudini too. But this is the look. You're supposed to do this, remember? So right there, it's a hat 
and a smile. So this is the mouth. Right here is his mouth. See that? Oh no, that's his mustache. No, I just painted his mustache red. His mouth is right here, this line. That's cool. He's got a red mustache, a baseball cap. It really does help the picture though, now that I've done that. Okay, I get it. Let me get this hand out of here. All right, very cool. All right, so, well that is Houdini. Let me bring everything back in here. What do you think about that vintage toy? The Great Foudini, the Magic Unscrambler. Mysterious. Was it mysterious? Did you enjoy it? Do you like these older toys? Well, I have tons more, which I plan to show you. And as I said, things will be changing graphically around at the Lucky Penny Shop. So don't fret. Everything else will remain the same. I'm just going to make some changes. Basically more in the direction I think the channel needs to go. To collectors, vintage toys, some new toys still but all the older toys and sets that I have. Kind of show them to you. And then I was asked to actually possibly do some history stuff on toys. So I'm thinking about that as well. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.